two months since it first took off from Abu Dhabi and the Solar Impulse aircraft has now completed the Asia leg of its groundbreaking round-the-world flight, covering more than 7,000 kilometres without using a drop of fuel. Along the way, they've drawn on the help of a dedicated team of ABB engineers, bringing expertise and technical know-how to the project every step of the way. ABB has invested in some technology that is installed in mobile hangar and in the plane itself. And I am a part of ground crew and I'm traveling with the plane all around the world. And a good thing as well is that I'm sort of a link between ABB and Solar Impulse. So at each point, if Solar Impulse has a problem that might be difficult, they cannot face, they ask me if I can find expertise or uh, materials from ABB so to make the whole process easier for them. For the last few weeks, the plane's been in China, where ABB has long had a considerable presence. As crew and engineers prepare the aircraft for its most gruelling leg, it's been a chance for customers and staff to have a look at the project firsthand. My first impression of uh, the, of the solar impulse airplane uh, it's, uh, wow, it's so cool because it's the first time in history that the airplane has been able to fly day and night with no fuel, uh, just only on solar power. Next stop is from uh, Nanjing to Hawaii. Well, that will be a, a five day and nine non stop flight. I think uh, the biggest challenge for the solar impulse uh, as well as the pilots will be well, uh, it is. Uh, never having have been done before. Our customer reaction is uh, overwhelming. Actually, the interest is so strong, we have to shorten the list of the participants today. And also from the mass media, solar impulse number two attracts a lot of media interest in the, in the country. It's become a very big uh, project in the whole nation. All thoughts now are turning to the mammoth next step in the plane's journey, all the way across the Pacific to Hawaii. It's a flight that will take pilot Andre Borschberg some five days and nights alone in the cockpit. Another feat of endurance for a team that's determined to show that flying without fossil fuel can be done and that the industry of tomorrow could be running the world without consuming the earth.